This is simply magical. Well, this may not be the absolute best day to be out here, uh, but we are gonna take a little hike today. Uh, we are at a state park that is just outside of Seattle, about an hour outside of Seattle. Uh, but before I get to walking on the trail, I need a little breakfast. I made some toast this morning when I got up before I drove out here, uh, but it didn't do much for me. I'm just as hungry as before I had the toast. So I'm gonna make a little something more substantial, uh, make a little egg burrito. Surprise, surprise, right? Look at the yolks on these eggs. I'm always surprised when I buy these eggs and just see how deeply dark orange the yolks are. Uh, it's a good brand of eggs, I think. They taste good too. It's not just that they look pretty. They really have a nice flavor too. Heirloom Fresh is the brand. They were a good deal too, uh, surprisingly. So this is a Lolly State Park, and it's about 35 miles, I think, from downtown Seattle is all. And uh, I almost skipped coming out here to this particular spot because it is a very popular place to uh, hike uh, in the area. Um, there are no shortage of hiking trails and just really beautiful areas here. But this one just seemed like it would be a nice easy hike, and that's kind of what I'm all about lately. So. That's why I chose here, and it's it's midweek, so uh, it shouldn't be too crazy crowded, but um, probably not the best place to uh, hike if you're looking for some solitude and you're on the weekend, but uh, we should, should be good today. Um, the drive out here is just awesome. Uh, you take uh, I-90 out of the city, and uh, it's just a few miles out of the city here, and, uh, fantastically beautiful. You go through all these mountainous areas and uh, the drive alone is worth the trip out here. Uh, hopefully the hike will be just as good as well. I keep forgetting that I bought some sour cream and it's been just sitting in the fridge. I keep moving it around. I don't know why I keep forgetting that I have it. Is that all the yellow bird I want? I think I want to just give it a touch more yellow bird. Make this extra good. Yeah, I, I like sour cream and I don't always buy it, so you would think that I would remember that I have it. Oh yeah, this is going to be good. Of course, the question right now is, do I make another cup of coffee? I've had one already. It's still morning. No, I think if we're going to hike, I should just be drinking water. Uh, which seems funny because it's raining pretty good right now. But yeah, we'll save coffee for after the hike. Okay, I'm getting ready to take a little walk here. I shouldn't call it a hike. I think I've been saying hike, but it's a fairly flat walk. So we call it what it is, I think, uh, which suits me fine, obviously. A uh, flat walk is much better. Anyway, I've got this little um, pack. I picked this up a few months back. Uh, it's a sling. It's very nice. Um, I've had backpacks in the past. In fact, I still have this one. This one's really wore out. A uh, little stinky and smelly, and it's got a bunch of just torn spots on it. So I don't use it very much anymore, except for storage. But this one seemed like a much better idea because it's, being that it's just a sling, and it goes uh, around, how do I do this? You can put it over one shoulder or over the other, and uh, it doesn't cover your back. So if I'm out walking when it's warm out, uh, it's a little cooler than a whole backpack. So I've been really liking this, and it allows me to take my water bottle, uh, and this water bottle is a little oversized for this pack, but it, it works all right. Uh, and also, I usually keep a couple of Lara bars on hand too. Um, Pineapple upside down cake. I didn't know I had this one. That's uh, that's nice to see. Um, so that way uh, I have what I need 
I, I keep a few other things in here too. Um, keep a bandana and some sanitizing spray just in case I'm in need of something as I'm out walking around. I use this for the city as well as uh, walking out in nature. Well, with this rain out, I figure I'd better put my waterproof boots on. Uh, these are made by a company called Ultra. Uh, they're their Lone Peak waterproof version of their boots, and uh, I've had these for a few years. Uh, keep them tucked away just for occasions like this. Um, I have not been wearing my boots very often because uh, I bought some new shoes, and I was talking about these recently. I went to a little pop-up shop in San Francisco just to try them on to get the right fit and all. Um, these are from a company called Wildling, and they're a barefoot type shoe. Um, and by barefoot, you can probably see what I mean by that in that they have a very thin sole. Uh, and the thing that is unique about these Wildling shoes, there are a lot of barefoot shoes out there, but uh, the thing that's unique about these Wildling shoes is this kind of really unique sole design that they have. They have the split that runs down here, which means that the shoe flexes very, very well. So most barefoot shoes have a very thin sole and insole so that they can be very flexible this way, but these Wildling shoes are actually flexible this way, and that's important because it mimics how your foot would normally walk if you are walking barefoot. Uh, since I have gotten these in the mail, I have not wanted to wear anything else. Um, now, they're, they're a water shoe, so I technically could wear them out on the trail here today and get them wet. Uh, I've gotten them wet quite a bit in the last few days. We've had some rain here in the Seattle area the last few days, and uh, I've gotten them quite soaked. They dry out really quickly, uh, so there's no issue there. The shoe is designed for that. Um, the only problem is my feet are always cold. If I wear these and my feet get wet, then I have cold toes. So I'm gonna give up the comforts of my fantastic Wildling shoes here and go back to my big old stodgy boots. Uh, you know, these are these are not bad. These are a, a nice, comfortable boot as far as uh, boots go, but um, there's a huge difference between these things and my new barefoot shoes that I just, just really don't care to wear these much anymore. But today's the day to do it. So if you're new here to Washington State, you do need what's called a Discover Pass, and you can usually pick them up like at this automated pay station here, uh, or at least pay for a day use uh, version of that Discover Pass. Uh, the Discover Pass is actually only 30 or $35 a year, so it's well worth it if you're gonna spend any time in Washington State at all. So this is the Snoqualmie River that we are walking by here. Uh, this is a well-known river, although you may not know that uh, you know this river. Um, this got popular from a uh, old TV show uh, called Twin Peaks. Now, I was not a fan of that TV show. Watched about five minutes of it and that was enough for me, but uh, there's a waterfall in that TV show that's, I guess, a recurring theme, and uh, that waterfall is part of the Snoqualmie River. So. You, uh, you may have seen this river before and not, not realized it. I thought this was going to be a fairly flat walk, but there's a little bit of an elevation gain here. Okay, we've made it to the overlook here, and what did the sign say down at the trailhead? I think it said 0.8 of a mile to this point, and then I forget what the other one is when we get to the next viewpoint. Um, maybe we should keep going, although I I kind of wish I ate a little bit more for breakfast. I'm getting hungry already. 
kind of want another cup of coffee now too. I, I probably should have made some coffee and put it in a thermos, tucked it away. This would have been a nice spot for a coffee. Uh, maybe a Lara bar will tide me over for a bit. I think I might strike that idea of keeping going. Uh, as I get to this point, I realize there are stairs down and then another climb back up to get closer to the falls. So I'm gonna wimp out here and uh, say, I don't wanna do any more climbs. Uh, it's all downhill if I head back to the van, back where there's coffee and more food. That Laura bar was okay, but uh, I think I'm gonna need some real food. When I'm out in such a beautiful place like this, I can't help but to think uh, about something from my childhood. Um, if you're from Southern California like I am, um, maybe specifically LA area, but um, I think all of Southern California, if you grew up watching PBS uh, shows uh, as a kid, you may have uh, seen a show uh, hosted by a guy named Huel Hauser. And he was uh, not from California originally. I think he may have been from Louisiana. Uh, and had moved to California to get in the broadcast industry, and so he got a job at PBS. And he had several shows over the years, uh, but most of his shows, at least the really well-known ones, were just showing the beauty and splendor of California. And he saw everything from the eyes of a non-local person. So there are things like uh, trees that flower normally in L.A. that... Uh, drop all over the place and make a big mess and they uh, they can kind of mess up the paint on your car so a lot of locals don't really care for those kind of things but um, he would go out and just celebrate these trees because they really were beautiful yes they did cause a little bit of a mess but they really were beautiful and uh, he would showcase these on his show and it was just an incredible thing to see California my home state from somebody else's eyes and whenever I go to a new place I have that same feeling of being a little bit like Huel Hauser and that I'm seeing this from a different perspective. Uh, I have been very down about Southern California and the deserts in general not wanting to spend any more time there after being in California for more than 40 years of my life. Uh, so coming back to an area that I don't know quite so well. Now I spent about four years here in the Seattle area, but still don't know it quite so well. Not nearly as well as California, but uh, just seeing it from a different perspective. I, I hope that people here in Washington State and Seattle realize just how special of a place this is. Uh, I can never really get over just how beautiful it is everywhere here. Okay, I want to get the kettle on, get some coffee going, and I also want to get these shoes off of my feet. Don't get me wrong, these boots are really nice. Uh, I've kept them all these years because they're useful, uh, and they are fairly comfortable as far as a boot goes. But I have noticed a big change um, since I bought these Wildling shoes. I've been wearing these Wildling shoes every day and this is the first day since I got these that I have worn anything other than these shoes. Um, and I have foot pain today for the first time in weeks. Um, I also have some little bit of knee and leg pain as well. And it's just the, the difference in the shoe. Uh, I, I really wanted to, uh, it, was, it was my intention to make a video about these Wildling shoes and, and to kind of just bring them to everybody's attention. Um, but when I kept getting around to making a video about these shoes, it's really difficult to talk about these shoes because they're so different. Uh, we talk about a shoe in a different way normally. You've got all the big name shoe companies say that you need a big heavy sole that is not flexible um, and they put lots of cushioning in their shoes and I, I don't think that those are the way to go. I think that the way to go is a barefoot shoe like this. They do take some time in getting used to and they do have a bit of a learning curve as well. You have to learn to walk slightly differently uh, and if you do 
you'll find them to be much more comfortable. But there is the trouble uh, in me making a video about these shoes. I, have, I first have to try to explain why you might be interested in a shoe that is very different from a shoe that you have been looking at or have been buying all of your life, like me. Um, but if you can get your mind wrapped around the fact that probably all the shoes that we've bought over our lifetime weren't doing our feet any favors, and maybe there's a better shoe out there that would be better for our feet and our foot health, um, then you can start to think about shoes like this. And I don't want to get into the whole uh, pushing products. I, I, I've actually stopped uh, doing product reviews just because I don't want to push products. I, I don't want to say this is the thing for you to buy. Um, we all have different needs. We all have different likes and dislikes. Uh, but I share these things because this is a vlog. I share a vlog of my life. And at this moment in time, my feet are kind of hurting a little bit. And that's not something I've had to deal with for the last several weeks. So it just reminds me that I, uh, I like a different shoe. I like a shoe that is a little bit more barefoot-like, and uh, I don't think I can go back to a regular shoe. Not that I'm going to get rid of these boots. They worked well, but I think I could have gone a little farther, hiked a little farther, if I were wearing the barefoot shoes. Uh, since I'm back here in the Seattle area, I went over to a grocery store. It's a gourmet grocery store uh, called Metropolitan Market, and they're all around the city. Um, I went there specifically to get some of this coffee. This is one of my favorite coffees, uh, top two of my favorite coffees. Um, probably my second favorite, I, I, I guess I would say. Um, light roast coffee, which is what I like. Um, everybody has their preference, and mine is for a light roast coffee. Uh, this is phenomenally good, and even though it's a premium coffee, it's not priced like a premium coffee. I think it normally runs between 10 to $12 a bag, and it goes on sale quite often. So I'm happy to have some. It's been a while since I have uh, had any of this. And today seems like a good day to uh, have some. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I can't tell you how much I like this coffee and opening it up now and smelling this. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this a lot. So I like this coffee just straight up, but I prefer my coffee with a little bit of half and half or whipping cream. This is whipping cream. I normally been buying this because I can use just a little bit of it and get that creamy texture and consistency that I like, uh, but it doesn't cool my coffee down quite so much. So that's kind of my go-to lately is whipping cream, and it makes a nice decadent cup of coffee too. The last few weeks, I have had a number of things either outright break or just start falling apart. Uh, it's been getting a little bit concerning. Um, I swapped out my water filters recently. I just did a video on that a couple days ago. And I'm happy with having the new water filters, but these are filtering really slowly. And it's getting a little bit concerning because I drink more water than what they're putting out. Uh, but thinking back to this, I think the first pair of those I had, these are um, ceramic filters made by a company in Great Britain called Dalton, uh, if you didn't see that video. Um, but I think, I think the first pair I had of those, they filtered slowly, and then over the next few days of use, they started to increase their speed a little bit. And they need to because... I need to drink more water and drink more coffee. That's a given. Uh, the other thing I have had a problem with, and this is just new from last night, is uh, my favorite of all of my battery packs, this Rock Pals 300, the USB-C does not work anymore. This is kind of concerning because this is my main source of charging my phone and my iPad. Uh, the rest of the things work, so I had to charge my iPad using a power brick on the inverter, but because I was using the inverter, I used a lot of battery power to 
recharge the iPad, so I don't really want to keep doing that. Um, I do have this other plug over here, and I can use it to uh, to charge my phone. For some reason, the iPad doesn't like the power coming off of this. So I haven't been using this for the iPad, but I've been using it for the phone. The phone has been charging just fine off of it, but um, so at least I have a way to keep my phone charged. I do have another battery pack, but it's huge. It's like three times the size of this. So I keep it down tucked under this side of the bed because it, if I had it over here on this side, it would just take up too much space. So I'm, I'm, a, little, I'm a little bummed about this. Um, the other thing that I had a problem with was my rain jacket, and not too long ago I was talking about how I liked this rain jacket. I uh, bought it at REI. It's their uh, Rainier uh, model of rain jacket, and I've been real happy with it. Uh, it's been really a good jacket until just recently the, um, the inside has started to shred, and it started at the at the cuffs, on the inside of the cuffs, you can see that there's some black uh, there that the that this gray part is shredding away. Um, and I don't really want to buy a new rain jacket. I mean, this thing has been good, uh, other than this now just recently. So <laughs> yesterday I went into REI and bought some seam sealer that you use to uh, seal up uh, seams on a tent. Maybe they use it on clothes too, I don't know, but um, I just brushed everything that was shredding and then around the areas that were shredding with seam sealer and it seems to be holding so far so hopefully that'll give me a little bit more time out of this rain jacket um i didn't get very wet so i i guess it worked just a, it's just a bummer so many things there's a couple other things i think i've had trouble with i can't remember off off the top of my head, but uh, I've probably been doing enough complaining now, haven't I? Let's just enjoy the rain. I've got some sourdough toasting, and I'm going to make a real quick hamburger. Okay, yeah, this works. The spiciness of the jalapeno sauce and the creaminess of the cheese and mayonnaise, this is a good burger. Well, this has been an absolutely marvelous day. But I think it's time I be hitting the trail. Uh, usually I say I'm gonna be hitting the dusty trail, but it's not gonna be dusty today, is it? It's been raining all day and pretty much all night. Uh, I am enjoying the rain and happy to be seeing some of it. Um, so thanks for uh, hanging out. And if you like this, uh, I will be uh, doing this every Monday and Thursday. So. Come back and join me every Monday and Thursday, and um, I should say uh, like, comment, and subscribe, but uh, you know I don't really like saying that, so I'm just going to end this by saying thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.